welcome back to the online sessions today we will start with our second term lessons in today's session let us begin with lesson number 11 cell structure and micro organisms cell measurement and observation of cells cell size plant cell and animal cell microorganisms these are the topics today we have to cover let us begin with the first one cell what is a cell cellular organization is the primary characteristics of all living organisms and that the cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of us there are organizational levels in living organisms which are the cells which is the basic one then many cells combine together to form tissues many tissues join to give an organ then two three organs combine to form an organ system many organ system will be there in an organism in the picture also they have shown that cell is the basic then tissue organ organ system and organism or human here they show cells form the basis of the structure and function of all living organisms it is only with the help of cells that living organisms carry out all their different life processes with the help of the cell all the life processes what are the life processes respiration excretion assimilation this all happening with the help of cells only in the basic unit known as cell all these living vital living organisms are uh, happy that is the meaning of cell who discovered cell great scientist in 1665 robert hook observed a thin section of cork under a microscope in this session he saw hexagonal compartments like those of a beehive he named those compartments cells this term is derived from the latin word cella which means a very small room in 1838 the two scientists m j sheden and theodor schoen formulated a theory about cellular structure which stated all the living organisms are made up of cells and the cell is the fundamental component of living organisms in 1885 rudolf virchow stated that all cells are formed from pre-existing cells measurements and observation of cells this picture you will be familiar in our lab this is there this is a microscope here you have can see compound microscope ip is cause focus knob fine focus knob objective lens through which we can observe the microbes then illuminator these are the parts of microscope measurement and observation of cells in 1673 anton van leeuwenhoek assembled various lenses to construct a microscope he was the first to observe live bacterial and protozoan cells under the microscope cell size you can find out different shapes of cell amoeba there is no particular shape red blood cells or rbcs circular shape surface shell and egg cell muscle cell spirogyra a fat cell a nerve cell a bone cell a sperm cells are of many different shapes example circular rod shaped columnar spiral oval rectangular etc each cell contains various components for carrying out the life processes of the living organisms these components are called organelles 
These organelles are studied in detail with the help of the electron microscope, which can magnify images up to 2 into 10 raise to 9, 2 billion times their actual size. So, electron in the lab, we can see normal microscope. But electron microscope, if you observe through electron microscope, the size will be 2 into 10 raise to 9, 2 billion times than the actual size. Plant cell and animal cell. Two diagrams have shown. The first diagram is of plant cell. You can observe the cell wall, chloroplast. That is the green pigment which is using for photosynthesis. Then cytoplasm. Here also you can see here cell wall is absent in animal cell, nucleus. Then uh, ribosomes, lysosome, Golgi complex or body, endoplasmic reticulum, vacuoles, mitochondrion. These are the difference. You can find the difference between plant cell and animal cell. Plant cell and animal cell. The cell has four main parts. The cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm and cell organelles. Cell wall. The cell wall is the outermost covering of a cell. It is present only in plant cells. Plasma membrane. The plasma membrane also called the cell membrane is a kind of thin covering. It is extremely delicate and flexible. It is the outermost covering of animal cells. Cytoplasm. The liquid part in the cell present around the nucleus is called cytoplasm. It occupies the space between the plasma membrane and nucleus. Cell organelles are scattered in the cytoplasm. Cell organelles. These mainly include the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, mitochondria, vacuoles, plastids, etc. Plant cells contain chloroplast. Plants can prepare their own food materials with the help of photosynthesis. For that, they require chloroplast, which is a green pigment. Next is microorganisms. What is meant by microorganisms? Categorize the following organisms into two groups according to their size. Amoeba, Paramecium, these all are very very minute, can't able to see. Euglena, snail, elephant, pigeon, worms, elephant, pigeon and all very big. We have learned that there are countless living organisms on the earth. Of these, the organisms which cannot be seen with our eyes but can only be observed under a microscope are called microorganisms. Micro means very, very small. See now, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, we all are scared of that virus. It is there, the germs are there, the pathogens are there, the virus is there. But can you able to see that? You can't see. But it may enter through the humans or other uh, living beings through air or by touch. So that is what micro that is how microorganisms are active. Occurrence of microorganisms are present all around in the air, water, soil, food, sewage, garbage, as well as in the bodies of plants and animals, including humans. Some microorganisms are solitary, that is, they live singly. Example amoeba, paramecium, whereas some live in colonies. Some microorganisms live on the remains of dead plants and animals. Various uh, kinds of microorganisms you can see in the picture. Some are road shape, some are spiral shape, some have, some of them have flagella, then uh, some are crown shaped. Actually, coronavirus it is crown shaped virus, hence the name corona. Then some are in the form of road, road shaped. So different different type of uh, microorganisms you can observe through the microscope variety of microbes now we will go to the assignment session what is a cell answer is given in the first slide of this ppt name the different organelles in a cell that's also given you can write the answers what are microorganisms answer is given in the video itself what is the difference between plant cell and animal cell? Sketch and describe in your own words the plant cell and animal cell. You can draw the diagram. You have to keep a separate notebook for science for second semester. You can write all these answers. Thank you. Stay safe. 
have a nice day